This is going to be a basic tutorial for both MAMP and MAMP Pro. I'm going to show you the virtual host locations within both of these two different versions. I'm also going to show you how you can add a new virtual host directive. I'm going to show you how to edit your host file so that you can have a custom domain name while working locally. And finally, I'll just remind you to restart Apache after making changes to your virtual host files um, so that when Apache restarts, it's going to read in that new configuration and it's going to apply it to your server. So the first thing that we'll cover is vhost configurations within the regular unpaid MAMP version. If we just pop over to Sublime Text here, if you look to the left, you'll see my MAMP folder, which is located within the Applications folder. So within the MAMP, you want to go and open up the Conf folder, and then within Conf, go into Apache, and then within Apache, open up httpd.conf. So this is the main Conf file that's going to be that's going to be read in. Alternatively, you can also place your uh, new vhost direct directives within extra and then httpd-vhost.conf. But if you want to do it this way, you'll first need to include that file um, from within this regular httpd.conf, which is read in first. So if I just do a quick search here and I search for vhost, let's just search that and um, you'll see on this line, it's 525 on my version. Um, this line is commented out right now, including applications map conf, Apache Extra HTTPD dash vhost. So if you want to put them in there, you'll first need to uncomment uncomment this, and you also need to restart Apache for that to take effect. And once you do that, you'll be able to place directives within http.vhost. Um, you'll see a few sample directives here. So you'll pr you'll paste in something like this. You'll give your server a name, so this is whatever uh, domain name you want to put into the browser. The document root will be the location of the files. So if you're using something like PHP, um, this is going to be where your index.php is located, or whatever file you want read in first. And then finally, we have the directory options right here. Um, again, you'll just put, just put the directory there. And any options that you want, by default, you'll use something like options includes and follow sim links and then you also want to have allow override set to all if you want to use an HT access file and you want those rules within the HT access file to override the Apache defaults you can also place your vhost directives directly within this http.conf file I think the way I just mentioned is a bit more modular after you've added your custom virtual host the next thing you want to do is edit your host file Within a Mac, you can do that by typing sudo nano slash etsy slash host. You'll need to do this as a super user, so make sure to add sudo at the front. Uh, you'll type in your password. And then once you go in here, um, you'll, just add, you'll just add a new line. So 1.27.0.0.1. And in my case, I was using anthonyvipon.dev. And that's all you need to do there. I'll just hit um, control X within nano and then yes to save and finally what you'll need to do is you'll need to restart Apache um, so that that virtual host gets read in and when it restarts it's going to use those rules and then what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go into the browser and you'll be able to type in your custom domain name such as um, anthonyvipon.dev now if it's the first time that you're typing this in um, you may get a message from Chrome saying do you really want to go to HTTP dot um, whatever your domain is you just want to click that link to let it know that you do want to go there you want to be loading that uh, site from your host file and then it should work fine finally let's look at the virtual host location if you're using MAMP Pro most of the time if you're using MAMP Pro you won't need to go in here because the tools by default um, let you do that easily through their through their GUI interface but if you do want to know where those, lo where those are located, in order to add your own custom rules, um, they are located within the library folder, and then go into the application support folder, and then go into this folder called Absolute, MAMP Pro, and then go into the comp folder, and then http.conf. What you'll do here is you'll just um, add your vhost uh, block within here. If I scroll down here, we'll see some of the ones that MAMP Pro has added for me automatically. So like I said, when you're using MAMP Pro, you usually won't need to come in here. 
because when you use their GUI interface and you restart, it's going to write to this file for you. But if you did want to come in here and add your own custom rules, this is where it's located.